Hello, welcome to this episode of the Mayhem Lab. Today we are going to look at uh, some more implantable RFID chips. Cool. Stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby time. All right, so in this episode, I wanted to um, do an, an implant video. Basically, there's a couple of these already out there uh, on the on the internet, on the on the YouTube's. Um, but what I got is a new implant from um, Dangerous Things. So this one is a NFC chip. Um, it's one of the larger ones, so it's uh, two kilobytes of memory. Ooh. I know, right? Uh, it's a little bit bigger in size as well uh, to the other ones that we looked at previously. So this is two millimeters by 15 millimeters, so a little bit longer. Um, again, we're NFC, so it works on the 13.56 megahertz range. Uh, the other I interesting thing that drew me to this one is they have um, LEDs in them. So you could pick which color uh, you wanted it to light up as you approach the what field. What your choices? Amber, blue, green, red... I think that was it. I think there was only four. Why did you choose red? Um, I, I felt it would show up better under the skin. Um, I'm yeah, really, a, I'm a fan of blue. I don't, I wouldn't say blue is my favorite color, but I like blue. Yeah, um, that's what I would have maybe thought of. But yeah, probably yeah. red's going to be the. And it didn't, and, and amber, I don't know. Amber is just kind of blah. Yeah. And when I saw, the, there's some there's some sample photos online mm -hmm. uh, on the site. It looked like the red one really sort of popped. Maybe it was just the picture. I don't know, but I liked it. So uh, that's why we went with um, went with red. So there's a couple of other neat things in here as well that uh, I assume it doesn't have a battery. It charges no. from the NFC. Correct. Yep. So as you enter, uh, or, or according to the site, as you enter the field, um, then it sucks the power to power the NFC chip, and it draws that power to power the LED as okay. well. Yep. So that's that's kind of fun. So um, yeah, that's today's activity. And a special for today's activity that Kevin doesn't know about yet is we got him an RFID chip. Hmm. Because you said your wife would let you. She would. So there you go. <laughs> Am I ready for this? I'll think about that. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's Kevin's surprise face. Yeah. Not that surprised. I, I, you knew? I didn't know. So... Let's take a look at what's in the packaging from um, Dangerous Things. So you obviously you get the uh, kit itself. Oops, I'm out of frame here. So you get the kit itself, which is nice. It's got the uh, chip uh, implant already in the syringe, in the sterile packaging. Um, I believe the gloves and gauze and all that is wrapped up in there. Um, what I like about these particular kits is they come with the uh, card. Um, to detect which kind of reader it is, which I thought was pretty oh, interesting. Neat. So uh, you should have one as well. So it's got a low frequency antenna in the middle and then a high frequency antenna around the outside. Uh, so you basically can just approach a reader oh, with neat. this yeah. and then the LED according to which one lights up, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and this is something that's gonna probably be different between our two kits. Since this one's NFC, I assume this is an NFC chip. Uh, you should have one of these as well. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to, to try this out. It looks like this is just um, a sample, basically a sample. doesn't look like there's a chip in here. It's just an antenna. And the antenna feeds into an LED. So once you move it into the field, the LED will light up. And the, the okay. idea is you stick it onto the card, and then you can um, push the card into the reader and figure out what orientation um, is best to use your chip in. So I noticed how mine's got the sticky dot on the 13.56 side because I've got an NFC chip and yours yeah. is for. So I'm assuming that is, and the antennas look yeah, they're definitely slightly different. different. Mine's longer, it looks like. Yeah, I'll have to stick these under the microscope a little bit later and see yeah. see what's what. So this isn't the actual implant. No. This is just an orientation tool. Okay. Correct, yep. Oh. Yeah, they really so do do it up pretty nice, don't now. they? Yeah, they come. In, it's it's the whole kit. So I didn't order anything special or anything extra. Uh, I just ordered the implant kit, and this is this is all the, the tools that you get with it, which I thought was pretty pretty nice. Pretty sweet. So yeah. yeah, so yeah, I can't wait to see how these work. I've got some readers, um, so hopefully we'll get to that relatively soon as well. Playing with the different readers, 
setting up uh, some of the Arduino stuff, and I've got a, a HID reader as well we can oh, play with. I forgot to bring my readers. Um, yeah, so that's ah. that's what we're going to do today. Stabby, stabby. What do you think? Let's stab you first and see where it goes first. from there. All right, stab me first. Let's get set up for stabbing. All right, so we've got everything set up and rearranged a little bit for um, stabby stabby time. So here's the kit um, that it comes with. Let's go ahead and get this opened because we are now ready to do it. So we've got uh, gloves. Those are very small gloves. Hopefully they fit you. Um, Field. There's the actual syringe. Uh, some pads, gauze, and one big band-aid. So put the band-aid aside. Don't need that right now, obviously. Um, we got here antibacterial pads. Okay, gauze. Uh, we don't need this right now, put that aside. So, the drop cloth, sterile field. You good? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the camera can't see is me standing here like a surgeon with my <laughs> sterile hands in the air. Like a surgeon. <laughs> Actually, it said non sterile, so. Oh, no. Okay. Well, the sterile field is all that we really, I think, care about as far as sterilization goes. And let's yeah. and let's be honest, we're not. Yeah. We should we should say we're not professionals. Oh, that's large. All right. Okay. So what we've determined is um, how we're going to do this. Here's a sterile pad. All right, gauze. We definitely want to make sure to get the uh, animal one we're playing with out of the way. Yeah, let's not <laughs> stick me with the animal one. Actually, there's nothing in there. Oh, okay. It's over here somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so we clean my hand um, with one of the sterile pads. We can dry it off. Well, actually, it probably doesn't need to really be dry. And then, of course, stick it with stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you want to show that, kind of how you're opening it under the camera? Oh, yeah, thanks. I did that. Um, yeah, so you just rip off the edge. There's a little perforated uh, thing, and as we can see, it's upside down for you. Um, <laughs> and the most important thing is to take that little orange thing off of there before yes. we do anything else. Yes. Because um, I haven't showed those the previous videos yet, but I do plan on doing that. Um, we'll actually see that during my first implantation, uh, we neglected to take this off, and it was not pleasant. But <laughs> that's okay. Um, we'll see why when we get there. All right, so uh, we'll rip this thing open. I can clean my own hand, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go this way. Another thing that uh, that's not being filmed, not on camera right now, is I do actually have a kit of other supplies that I've developed over the years while doing this. Um, nothing too extraordinary, just some wound cleaning solution, like saline solution, other gauzes, more um, pads, band-aids, things like that, just in case. Um, it's needed, but uh, these kits, um, these kits are, do come with pretty much everything you need, which is really nice. Uh, so after you stab me, this piece of gauze, and then of course band-aid open. These band-aids that the um, dangerous things use, dangerous things uses, if I said that correctly, mm -hmm. um, are pretty nice. Very large. Oops, shit. that's not what I wanted to do. But there's the band aid. All right. 
All right. All right, so, and I want to go in right about here, right? Uh, yep, so if I keep my hand. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. So there's bone. So yeah, yeah I can see where in for... between the bone is. You want it to end up right there. Right about there like the other one. Yep. Okay. So, Ready? No. Give me a three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, it's... Oh. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Put it in. I hope so. <laughs> it's pushed down all I mean, the it's, way. It's not I mean, in I hope it's where anymore. it's supposed to be. All right, well, I guess we'll find out. So there we go. That is pretty much all it takes, so... So were you shoving away because it hurt so much, or because I was in the camera way? No, no. Um, <laughs> that one, uh, that one did tickle um, <laughs> quite a bit. I'm not quite sure why it tickled. Uh, I've had a number of implants, but hmm. guess we'll find out. I mean, there it is. Okay. No, you can't really yeah, see. Yeah, it should it. be pretty close to the surface. Yeah, I think. Um, I think you might have. Went too far? No, hit a nerve or something. Oh, okay. Because my finger is tingly. Oh, no. No, no, it's fine. Um, yeah. I don't think it's damaged. I just <laughs> think uh, that was the that was a sharp yeah. pain that I felt. Okay. Yeah. So, and there we have it. All right. Okay, so for Kevin's implant, um, basically the same process as my own. The kit came with everything that we needed. So we laid down the sterile field, um, scrubbed up, uh, made sure that his hand was nice and clean using the pads provided in the kit. Um, we actually scrubbed his hand a couple of different times um, before we started shooting the video. Um, so you see the, the final scrub and then we decide where exactly we're going to want to place the chip. Um, obviously these chips are, um, you, you know, you are able to move the chip once it's in there, but, uh, you know, not a lot. So we want to make sure that we get it in the correct orientation and in the general area where he's going to want to use it. So after that, um, I'm basically just trying to massage his hand a little bit, uh, loosen up the skin, because um, similarly to what you saw in mine, you kind of pinch the skin and pull it up, and then uh, you know kind of make um, uh, you want to really separate that that skin layer from the muscle tissue. So uh, just kind of playing with it a little bit and, and trying to get it to lift up, uh, and then basically that's that's kind of it. Just jab it in. Um, now, in this particular one, we did want to keep it uh, close to the surface. Uh, that was one of his requests. So trying to get it in there, but then also keep it um, up top as, as much as possible. So got it, uh, got it in there. Um, and then after we, you know, got it to where we wanted it, um, you'll note that, uh, you know, just like anything else, you just push the plunger in. Um, in this uh, in this particular case, um, as you see, I'm pushing the plunger in, and uh, I was pulling out a little too quickly, and you'll see the chip pop out there. Um, so we just kind of shove it back in real quick. And uh, Kevin appears to be a little bit more of a bleeder than I am, so he um, you know is bleeding a little bit, but uh, nothing that um, nothing more than a normal cut. I don't think um, you know like you cut your hand on something. It's not uh, it's not gushing. It's not you know really a, a big a big deal in my opinion um, I think the the chip pulled out because I was too close to the surface again we were trying really hard to make sure that it was as close to the surface as possible so um, if he did want to remove it or need to remove it um, that would be an option so I tried to uh, to really get it you know out at the last second and uh, I guess I waited a little bit too long but that's basically it uh so Michael what can people do if they liked this video you know, it would be nice if they would subscribe, click the button, and leave a comment. That would be cool. That would be neat. Would we ignore them? No, I try to get back to everybody. Okay. Yeah.